Hey folks, John Thompson, Spring Framework Guru here. So in this module, we're going to take a look at actually setting up some unit tests to test the spring profile. So in the last module, we looked at just the spring configuration. And this time, I'm going to set up a unit test that's going to work with profiles. And we're going to set an active profile to make sure that the proper being is going to get wired up. So what we're going to do is we're going to create a configuration that is going to bring in those beings, that data source beings, and then we'll set up a, a J unit test to test that we're getting the proper bean wired in. So let me show you how to do all this inside of IntelliJ. We're going to go through some spring configuration options, but I think it, even if you're familiar with spring, it's going to be a good exercise to go through this and, and see how we can set up spring. So right now I'm just really the, the focus of this module is doing spring configuration, setting it up so that we do a component scan on our, our little fake data sources there. And then we're going to set up a test to bring in the beans that are set to the active profile. Okay, so I, I have our uh, project back up here. And what we want to do is we want to set up a, a configuration for this. So I'm going to come in here, create a new class. And let's just call that uh, data source config. And I'm going to mark it with that configuration. And I wanted to do a component scan. And I'm, I'm just giving it the package. So I'm making sure that it's going Guru Spring Framework Test Data Source. So it, it's going to do a component scan on all those. And I'm going to create a new package here called Data Source Test or DS Test. And let's create a a new class here. So I'm adding in the run with annotation and I'm going to give it that data source configuration. Oh, I misspelled data source. That was my mistake here. So I can come in here and refactor that. And now IntelliJ will find that and import that. So what this is doing, it's telling my J unit test to bring in that data source configuration. And I'm going to give us our test a, a data source property. I'm hitting command N and I want to set a setter for this. And we're going to do auto wired on this. Doing command N again, I'm going to create a test method. Now a shortcut you can use in IntelliJ is SOUT and it, that'll expand out to system.out.println and I'm just going to do fake data source two strings so we can see the output. And this isn't going to be a, a true unit test. I'm just doing this for examples. So I'm going to run this now. And as I expected, we're getting a, an error here no qualifying bean of type, in fact, data source. And this is because we've set a profile on all of these, but we have not set an active profile. So Spring doesn't know which one to use. So none of these are eligible to be wired in right now because they all have profiles and we have not set an active profile. So Spring is saying, yeah, you can't use any of these. So what we need to do is tell our J unit test that we want one of these beans. And I can do active profiles. And in this, I can do dev. Now I'm running it again inside of IntelliJ. We're bringing it back up. And we can see that it, it passed OK. Oh, made one mistake here in my output. Did find the bean, but we did a two string on the get connection info. So that, that was my mistake. Let's run that again, make sure that we get the right output. So we can see that down at the bottom of the screen there, we have the, the message on development data source. Now, if I change this to QA, I can run this again. And I get the QA data source. And setting it to prod, I get the production data source. Now, what if I didn't want to use this annotation? 
without it, like we said, it's going to blow up because Spring doesn't know which data source we want. And there's one way we can get around this. If we don't set a, an active data source, we can come in here and actually make this a list or array and set a, a default profile. And now we can see that the dev data source got picked up because we said it was default. Now there, there is one word of caution. Let me show you that real quick. I bring this back. And let's say we set the active profile to guru and we don't have a data source being for that. Now you'd think that the default would get picked up because we haven't set one. But what actually happens is we're getting a no such bean definition. And what that means is that we didn't get any of those data source beans wired in. And that's because the default profile is only going to get enacted when there is not an active profile. So that's the only time default gets enacted. If we do set a profile, the default profile is not active. So that's why the, that blew up in here because I did set a profile, even though I have beans defined for dev, QA, and production, I do not have one for guru, which is why it blew up like this. If I did have a bean for guru, that guru bean would get wired in. Now. I do have the default. The default is only going to come into play when there is not an active profile set. Okay, in this module, we reviewed a little bit of spring configuration where I showed you how to set up a spring configuration bean. And then we also brought that into a, a J unit test context so that bean would be active. And that bean was doing a component scan on our fake data sources. And you can see when I first ran it, I didn't have an active profile set. And it, we saw an exception. There's no such bean definition found. And spring blew up and the context failed to load. And then I showed you how to use the active profile annotation so we could set an active profile for our unit test. And then we did get a, the bean that we expected to be wired in. And then I went back and I showed you how to use the default profile. And so that the default profile will kick in and we would get something when we don't have an active profile set. And that the one very important nuance to remember about default profiles is that it only kicks in if you have not set an active profile. If you set an active profile, the default profile does not used. So any beans marked with the default profile do not get wired in. And if you're expecting that to happen, you're going to get a, an exception like I showed you here in this video.